Obrigado. We are having pasta. Same piri piri? Yes, muito forte, muito picante. Muito forte, muito picante. What's up, Amelia? Oh, yeah. What's up, my boys? I forgot because there was food soup. I mean, okay. I can't blame you. Yeah, oh, obrigado. Sim, sí, mais uma cerveja, assim, igual. I mean, how can I not? So today we are doing something special. And that's why we're also starting out with a special lunch. I could just stay here for the rest of the day, Amelia. But today we are going to do another football vlog. You heard me. We are finally allowed to go on a stadium and watch real humans play a real football. And it's Portugal versus Sweden. I know, not the most exciting match on the planet, but beggars can't be choosers. Plus, Ronaldo is gonna play. I am gonna no, watch not. him the entire day. Amelia, he's not playing. Yeah, yeah, because it's the um, Portugal against Sweden. So Haven't you heard? He's not playing? He got Corona. No. Didn't. Are you did. kidding me? He got Corona? Yeah. <gasps> You're joking. I'm not joking. He's sick? Ronaldo is sick? Well, he's not sick, he just got it. Oh my god, so he can't play? I think today will be interesting because we are going to see how it is and most likely will be to see a football match for the next couple of years, if not more. I don't see uh, the stadiums being full anytime soon. This video will most likely be a preview into what you can expect as a die-hard football fan. Will we um, still enjoy the match or will we be bored out of our mind? If I was a betting man, I would put my money on the ladder because fans are 50% of the game and today it's only 10% of the stadium capacity. So that's 5,000 people. But on a positive note, I'm just happy that we can go watch football again. Me too, man. Smell it, Amelia. No, because I have a cold. Amelia, she <laughs> no, sneezes. I actually have allergy. Amelia, she sneezes non-stop, and everybody she thinks she has Corona. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, can tell you, you got infected by Ronaldo. Because I was dreaming that I had an affair with Ronaldo, and now I'm sick. Oh, look at the action! This is just like Sporting Benfica. They are ecstatic down there! We just got a text message that you have to wear a mask at all time during the, the match. So... Which is pretty weird because I thought the whole idea with spreading out 10% was that you have no Please one around face. you. Maybe we'll be 10 meters from each other. Oh my god, imagine! That would be <laughs> a fun video. Uh, but we're going to the usual hangout spot for the stadium fan, for the sporting, for the sporting fans, which I think is pointless. I just want to see if there's, of course, there should be like some beers, whatever. <laughs> This will be the most boring match of all time. Have you missed the beautiful stadium, Amelia? It's time. And I have to pee, so it's perfect. That was mean, Amelia. Well, oh, yeah, you are a Benfica fan, I forgot. No, I'm not. <laughs> Shut up. It looks like it's from 1984, but it is from uh, 2002 or something. It's, it's like one year older than the Stadio de Luz. You hungry, Amelia? Yeah, I don't know. I think I might be <laughs> pregnant, Jon. What, what? What is it? You, you buy a banana and sneakers and then a juice, but and also... Uh, but you know how I am when I'm feeling this way. Last time we saw um, Portugal playing Serbia. <laughs> we are actually 
50,000 people around this field. You can definitely not hear it. Like, there is such a big difference between a local match and the uh, NOS League and then a national uh, game. And it was it's pretty boring, actually. Yeah. But we wanted to see how is it now to uh, watch a match. And uh, it's not completely empty, actually. The atmosphere is banging, Amelia. Mm -hmm. So the police are ensuring social distancing here. So we have to stand two meters apart. Can you sneakers with or what? Amelia, it's your second sneakers. Oh, this reminds me of so many good memories with people. Back when life was funny. Oops. We're in the nosebleed section, Amelia. Hi. Why up here? Can you feel the spirit? So, technically, we're not allowed to sit next to each other. If this is the setup from now on in terms of going to a football match, why even bother? Like, honestly. The good thing about this stadium is that you think that there's a lot of... like there's a lot of people. We yeah. have all the different color seats. Well, there are five people there. <laughs> you know the national song, Amelia? It's the Swedish one, Jon. Do you know that? <laughs> no, but I know the melody. Are you, are you uh, um, rooting for Sweden or, or Portugal? Why on earth would I root for Sweden? Some would say that we should root for Sweden. But we live in Portugal. We are Portuguese by heart, so... Uh, and now it's starting. Oh, 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 oh. You have no idea who's singing with because everybody's wearing a mask. Well, since uh, Ronaldo is not um, with Portugal, it's going to be 3-0 to Portugal. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. It's not so good. Oh, it's not so good. I can hear a drum. Actually, Sweden and Portugal, they are very uh, equal when it comes to their past uh, games. It's like 6-6-7 six, six, uh, or something. Win, draw, lose. Hey, Ronaldo, come. Oh, Ronaldo. He's not there. Uh, but his spirit is with him. When you play FIFA, you can see who has the ball. You can see the name on top of the head of the players, because I don't know half of the players. Maybe right one now. day you can get like virtual like reality well, with that would be really like, some glasses or whatever. I can't believe Ronaldo is not playing. It's like watching golf without Tiger Woods. It's just not you the... You do that though. No, I don't. No? Never. How dare you. If I could get drunk in here while watching, I would probably prefer just 5,000 people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think actually Ronello is in here watching the game. I read that somewhere. Oh, 
So we talked about not too long ago. We talked about um, how how is football gonna survive this lockdown? Because are the football players are they not gonna get paid now? Or I think that the future of, of football and sport in general is at a big risk because at what point can we return to filling up stadium? We've generated this fear throughout the population that, you know, even if they said now you can come and watch the football uh, in full capacity, there would be a good chunk of people who wouldn't uh, come anywhere because they're scared. And a lot of clubs, they will go bankrupt because they can't, I mean, they have extreme expenses, like salaries, and how long will the football players accept low salaries? But I mean, I guess they have to. It's pretty terrifying what's going on. We, we can. Amelia. Aquí, 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 aquí. No se está no nada, se está no para nada, Amelia. A couple living together cannot sit next to each other. How how does that make any sense? Can you can you explain that to me? I'd like to know how that makes sense. I could understand it if we were like a s two strangers. <sighs> Three zero, Amelia, and um, Three zero? and a lot more cozy environment, if you ask me. Yeah, I will say I'm very conflicted with all this post-corona football thing because on one hand I feel like we really need to support football and sport in general and go to the matches and pay for the merch and do all these things that we usually do but then on the other side I'm like the magic is done. it's over like there's no magic there because you can't even sit next to each other I totally agree with the magic I understand that this is a situation that is extraordinary but I think we might as well just wait until it's completely gone, over, and then get back to, to, to how it used to be. Because I was depressed going there to this match, and I can't be the only one. And it didn't seem like anybody was having fun or enjoying themselves. I mean, you can't even sit next to your friend. Unless it's Sporting Benfica, I'm, I'm not going back to, 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 to uh, the stadium anytime soon. I mean, you have to sit with your mask on. You can't sit next to your loved one or your friend. You can't have anything to drink. Where's the fun? We might give it another shot at some point, but um, that will not be the National League. That will probably be Sporting Porto Benfica against each other. But I think uh, even with 10 minutes left, that it's safe to say uh, Portugal, they won. That was it for this uh, video. Sorry if you found us to be too negative, but I think there is good reason to be a little bit negative. I, I'm not negative, just sad. Well, you can be in a bad mood, that's negative, right? I mean, I'm sad that we can't enjoy what we love so much. And I know, like, being a religion here in, uh, like, like, with football being a religion here in Portugal, it's like the same as, you know, closing down all the churches back in the day, you know. The Portuguese people need this, they need the football, they need to go back to who they are, and hopefully sooner rather than later. Anyway, obrigado por ver o vídeo, guys. Até logo, guys, and see you in the next one very soon.